Good evening. I can see you're all talking about me. Uh, good evening, everyone. So, who have we got? Um, Paul's on the wrong thing again. Uh, hi, Mark. Hi, wifey. Uh, hi, Mark. Um, hi, Con. Hi, Archnin. Hi, Craig. Hi, Tavon Wars. Hi, Con again. Hi, Jack. Hello there, Jack. Uh, and thanks for the sub. Archnin, it is much appreciated. Oh, I am. Yeah, that's better, I suppose. I think I've got a bigger version of me showing up in the screen today. We've been playing around with some settings, and it it's all got big and scary and more pictures of me. So, how is everyone this fine week? Uh, I'm just sort of what we've got to paint. I'm going to be finishing probably the tavern. Um, the lake side lake town scenery should have had a shave I had a shave yesterday long week at, yeah oh it is as well isn't it cool <laughs> Hello, leather legs. Um, welcome to the stream. <laughs> I'm not usually that loud, honest. Um, hmm. uh, cool, Paul. That is good to hear. Uh, Craig, um, I'm pleading the fifth at the moment. <sighs> Any good? All good here. After yesterday's post showed up. Yay. I'm glad that turned up after the second attempt. Sorry. Um, and. Yes. Con. It is. Asmodeed. We're going to use the word Asmodeed. Um, it's late coming into Asmodee. Um We should have been doing it. <clears throat> I think we were. Friday we were scheduled for this Friday so unfortunately we are sat with this amazing issue of um, uh, it'll be sometime soon Admiral yeah <laughs> yes um uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, all of the Flesh and Blood community were meant to be doing uh, pre-releases this weekend and they've had the unfortunate news and I, I really do feel sorry for them. I know friends who have um, planned streams and took weekends off work for this weekend and it is just so gut-wrenching that they're... Uh, that the, they can't run the events a couple of store owners that I'm absolutely devastated for that they can't asthma waylaid um, and speaking to asthma day today and I did sit down and talk to them I've had a good chat today and I'd like to say it was their fault it's just some of the, even <coughs> excuse me even the US are basically saying yeah, Flesh and Blood um, pre-releases won't be until next week. And the pre-releases -re pre were this weekend. Uh, Blackfire's got them, but Asmodee didn't get... Haven't got them... Or they haven't got them yet. So... Yeah. It's, to be honest... the When the Americans were talking about it... Um, Alliance basically said that the product lines that they were waiting for, so we were presuming the Monarch First Edition sets and stuff like that, um, wouldn't be coming out till the week after. Now, we think they're on about the week after next, so they're going to be a week behind, our week behind. But when they were talking about the delay, <coughs> delays into the ports in America, I was like, 
they shouldn't be affected by anything to do with the canal and all that sort of stuff. But then when you you actually go and look on their CNN page, they've got ships that are berthed out at like five miles out at sea because they can't come in because there's nearly a week and a half backlog. Yeah. Well, just because of that one, it's the ports in America were dead for a, a week or so, but um, the, the I know they were on about the one that feeds Chicago and all around there, Detroit for all of the steel, or, or however it gets to Chicago and Detroit. The main shipping route into there, they reckon they're going to be a six-week delay on steel stocks and stuff like that going into the car industry. So it, it it's had a knock-on all over the world, and it'll have a knock-on for the next five to six months easily. So it, it's just strange. It's it's that Chinese proverb where you you drop a pebble in a the tiniest pebble in into a pond, and it hits every shore going. Uh, it seems to be doing that. If it was just Asthma Day UK, then the Americans wouldn't be delayed, and I know Asia have been saying they're not getting theirs. Um, till next week either so I think it's a whole yeah butterfly effect it's unfortunate and I do my heart does go out to the the guys that aren't getting their pre-releases uh, this weekend and good evening Egan yes it is a good film uh, has anyone say, no I won't say that uh, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> we have our Usual card giveaway tonight. Um, I'll get the box out in a bit. That'll be at half eight. Usual rules apply. You can get bits and pieces. Um, yeah. The, there's big yeah, there's big stockpiles of empty containers at the moment. Um, because there was no ships to put them on either. So uh, it's yeah it, it's just got one knock-on effect after another so today and tomorrow will be our last two days of lord of the rings stuff and i will probably just go to open season after that um i've got a couple of bits before we actually get into um da -da -da. why is everything so dull in here today oh lee got bright lee got very bright lee got too bright there we go. <laughs> yeah, it was drifting. Handbrake turn. Wanted to drift. Um, it's there. So, I had this last week when I said, I'm sure I've got something I need to open. So, this hasn't even been... Look, still got the QC thing on, and it's all sealed. So... Uh, failed a sloop yet it bumped it, the stupid tie fighter got in the way again um so i've been waiting for this for a while um and i've wanted one of these for ages <laughs> there was 3d print versions out there they just weren't up to cop so i'm going to do a box opening on this now it's got bubble wrap in it um well, that's a hefty piece of resin. That's a hefty piece of resin and not many bits to put together. Ah, there we go. So, yes, um, we're still way behind on the goal, so I have a feeling we probably won't hit the goal this month. Um, it's not too much of an issue. We'll do some sort of giveaway for the top six. Um, uh, top five, even. So, this is, I've been wanting one of these for absolutely ages. It's a car. Mm, not really. So I'm not going to show this bit just yet. It's a piece of bubble wrap. It's 
so there's some little bits of dressing there's some little bits of that so if I was to say this vehicle has a transaxle would anyone like to hazard a guess to what it is I'm hoping some of you should get it from that. It's got to be a bit. Trike? No. It. Is it a Space 18 wheeler? Um, definitely four wheels because they're all in that box. So let me see if I can. So that's one of the wheels. I have no idea what that is, Egan. Ailerons, ailerons, ailerons. Um, that's the gun. That's the wheel. That's more wheels. I think someone already has um, mentioned it. So, another gun. And another bit. It is, Egan. It is the Aliens APC. guessing those wheels need to go on certain ways um, because that's quite wobbly so that's the gun that goes on the front um, so I'm not sure I think that can it can either go on the back, which I believe it goes something like that. Um, or there, or it can actually go up top. Um, and then I don't know where these gate bits go. Or is this meant to be the... Mm. Not sure. Um, and there is... There is no actual instructions in the box. So I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, I'm just wondering if... It's from Aliens... Tomo. I'm just having a look up which there is. Someone's done a Lego one. Um, it's from 
There is no instructions. The box has none in. It just says Aliens Marine APC. Um, I know it's the Gale Force 9 version of it. But I can't find. So from what I can tell, that goes somewhat like that. And then that can go under it. I don't think. Oh, I don't think that's going to work very well. This actually slides on it. Yeah, that's going to make life interesting. Um, and the other side has the ladder on that. But that resin has warped to all over the place. Um, it should be like that. I guess the boiling water comes out for that one. Um, I think... If that does clip in like I think it does with a little bit of thought, there we go. Just a little bit of force. Good evening, Ulfric. How was you this fine evening? So yeah, I think they just go on there. That goes. I think I'm just going to glue mine into place there, so it's on the rails. But I think it is designed so it can go down both. Um, yeah. But the amazing thing out of all of it is it's a solid block of resin. is blooming weighs a ton yes quite literally a doorstop um, it is nice it is really nice um, so that may be one of the next painting jobs to do and sort the resin out it's so cool. But I wanted to share that. The other thing I wanted to share before we get back to painting some of the Lord of the Rings bits and pieces to finish off is um, last week we were talking about the chrome. Uh, who did I speak to? I spoke to someone. Can't remember who it was. Uh, was it in gallery? it might have been in the gallery but we were talking about the metallic paints and he showed us some of the stuff that he'd been doing dex i don't know if dex is on yeah it would break the floor and yes it explains why it's so expensive corn so where have i put the blooming thing that's not it is it it is so we went with this mirror effect uh, Molotov Chrome uh, and I had a play with it. Oh, oh, bit shiny. Um, it does come off quite easy. My, my biggest disappointment was I just rubbed it like that after it had all dried and some big chunks came off it. But for windows and stuff like that, 
That is absolutely chromey as chrome can be. Yeah, but I don't know what to seal it with, Mark. If I spray it with matte, you lose the silver. So it was a bit of a, I don't know what to do. It, I'm still having a play around um, and a pure hot. It's one of the new Hawks as well. <laughs> it was the closest thing I had. Um, so that it's just a pen. It's not even a, a paintbrush or anything like that. that's as easy as it gets yeah someone someone said that I can get the top ups for it and use the chrome I think it was it probably uh, Dex again when he was commenting on it but I've also seen an attachment that goes onto the top of the pen and it just blows over the tip of the pen and it sucks the paint out of the bottle out of the pen and puts that down onto stuff and there's an attachment that goes onto the airlines so I've been trying to find that it is a yes uh, Kinga yes I am it is a liquid chrome pen by Molotov Uh, thank you for the donation, Ulfric. That is much appreciated. Um, but yeah, um, they do different colours of it, so I do fancy giving them a try out, and I do fancy trying to find the little nib bit that goes onto them as well. Um, so yeah, quite quite impressed with it. I'd like to see how we can paint over it. I need to let that dry though. So let's have that out of the way so I don't scratch it. So the other thing, we are going to try and get some of this finished tonight. But this is where we're at with it. Um, I think Mark commented. Let's see if I can get the light up a bit. On the colour difference between the photograph that we took. Um, and how it looks. I think that's actually a better representation of it now. So that is the little tavern or whatever we want to call it, trading post, the fishing boat with the oars on, broken twice now. Uh, we do need to do a little bit of dry brushing on that and it was Gorfor Brown if I remember rightly Gorfor? Gorfor Golfang uh, Brown, sorry yeah, I was, by the time I got back and sat down and looked at it I was well impressed with it um, I was a bit disappointed where that primer pulled we had another incident incident of it over the weekend. Um, I've been doing some bits and pieces of work for someone else and I used it again, uh, thinking that it might not do it on another project, but it did exactly the same. And I was left with uh, paint coming off again. Which is slightly disappointing when it's meant to be a primer and it doesn't feel much more than a, a standard paint. So 
So yeah, just get the patches down on that again. The same on the one that stuck to the wood. Uh, so it just there were the two bits that we lost. Um, paint on sort of thing. So there's barrels there. We're gonna do the barrels in a slightly different colour as well. Uh, so that not too much of an issue. That one lost a lot of it as well. So I have sealed it as well. Um, after the last one, just so I don't do it again. If that makes sense. Oh, I need to clean that. So, that was, oh God, it's going to be one of those days where I do two seconds of painting and then ten minutes of showing off the new bits and pieces that we've got kicking about. Let me get that out of the way for now. Something that we picked up this week, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I know, I think Corn's already bought one. Um, we have the new Broken Toad, and it's hard to get a good picture of it. Um... <laughs> and as the advert says, it's definitely not a printed mug. Uh, we have a broken toad um, brush hold, a uh, brush pot, water pot. Uh, we will be swapping over to it soon once I get my new. Not always. You can get them without handles. And then we have the amazing Broken Toad brush holder. And something that I've been told I have to show everyone and shout at everyone and make sure they get it right is the brushes do not go in like that. Yep, the brushes go in like that. Now you need to keep the plastic uh, protector on but if you put the brush in like that yes there is a lot of people using the holder on arching it I've seen it already and so is Chris we were like yeah um, but the once you've got a few in them I am having to choose my brushes carefully because not all of them have got these left anymore. But yeah. And then take it out, pop that. And away we go again. So, yep. Yeah. Cool new painting accessories. Uh, we also got some brushes back into stock. We were out of stock of... Ooh, the Mark 5s? Mark 3s, sorry. Mark 3, Mark 5s is something else we're working on. Not not Broken Toad either. Uh, um, I think you just take one of them, Paul, and go and scoop it back out. If it's in there, can you still see the brush size? I think so. Yeah, you can still see the writing on there, well and truly. I have just noticed that my camera is quite blurry. There we go. Sorry about that. So yes, that's it's solid res again, it's it's a it's a doorstop like Brush, I mean, if the brush is up in the air, oh, you mean like that? Yeah, you can still see, but yeah, there is a correct and a wrong way to use them, like everything else. Uh, yeah, you should be able to tell what the brush is from the number on it, hopefully. So, yeah, they're now in stock. Um, we have a limited batch of them to see how they do. So, if anyone wants one, um, head over. Right, let's have some browns. What kind of browns can we have? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something a bit different. 
<laughs> I'm going to make paint. And everything is still wet in there. So let's have some good old fashioned H2O in there. And let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to take Chimera Red, Chimera Jade Green, Carbon. So I've been wanting to use these more and more and Thanks to a certain uh, Archnin for finding me the other sets, I will have more of them. So I do want to get into the habit. Ooh. Of not overfilling the water like I just did. get some of these big brush painting as uh, snowy calls it uh, we've got little accessories kicking around some of them want to be green a bit of brown in it I'm doing all that thinking you can see it, sorry. So, this is the new washable wet palette membrane, by the way, that um, we are testing and using. I've already cleaned it once. You can see I did leave some of the streaks on, um, but I have washed it off and cleaned it once. So, it has, it is definitely already doing its um, thing, sort of thing. So I'm going to have a red with a little bit of black in it. Yeah, I'm quite liking these. I was using them the other day. Um, so... And I'm putting it on fairly wet. I'm going to put my gl good glasses on for this. Uh, and with my good glasses on, I can see what I'm doing. Let's have a little bit of uh, green into the mix. So. They're going on fairly I say loose, but wet. Um, the whole colour scheme for um, Lake Town is all doom and gloom and a bit run down and a bit manky and stuff like that. So, let's have a bit of red and green. Anyway. and keep the main colour of the pot um, there we go trying to make it a dirty green if that makes sense Stockton, I don't get what you're on about. Enlighten us. G 
Good evening, Chewy. How are you doing, Matt? So we have that and that. Let's get some of the green into the actual pot, but not on the walls. It gives the. It just looks as though it's got something in there now. There we go. Uh, Stockton's not that bad. Depends which part of Stockton you're going on about being mucky and grimy and <laughs> so the top bits I'm doing there to just give it a bit of a blend in and get the green so that the green shows up. Um, I might do the lamp with the airbrush no because it's off it wouldn't have an airbrush color uh, so the barrels uh, i need to do another quick wash on them once the barrels are done but again it's just Splashing it on, making it a, a different enough colour from the, the wood on the base. It's probably the same wood, but I'd say this is more handled and it won't have slime and it won't have stuff on it. So, the uh, light and I think I do need some metallics on it because <coughs> the there's a, a hook there the fish could also do with being um, maybe shiny silver fish there were shiny silver fish in the uh, the Hobbit so Again, just the wicker work in green. It's been in the sea and stuff like that. Or the lake, sorry, not the sea. Clean the straps off. Um, so if I'll water some down over here. And just splodge some on the bottom of the legs. the legs then get look as though they've been have water splashing against them or have had water splashing against them I'll do the same on this one that I've not done yet oh. no, I've not done any of this one yet little tide marks just to that's the one that I've done. There we go. I'll flip it over. That's it. It's it's an old broken toad. So it um it's the one that I use for all my big big brush works of doing bits of scenery and stuff like that putting base coats down but then do exactly the same just random it doesn't have to be neat and it doesn't have to be a perfect line 
probably a bit more to the front whichever the front is it probably goes both ways <clears throat> there we go and the house as well well I've still got it all thinned out there there we go <laughs> you all have to start again on the blooming puns, don't you? Just come up with a problem with that paint and how it closes. Uh, this is one of my new shirts as well. Look at that. <sighs> so, rather than just dive in for the metals. Some metal, metal, metallic -y grey. Blooming paint everywhere. So I've not really done that one yet. <laughs> doing it lightly it's actually just picking out the, the good bits of the metal that goes green but let's have a look at a little bit of the grey mixed in with some green for the fish just gone with the grey there's not much of the green gone on so while it's wet if I just get the green tint to the fish and then a bit of a wash after that So the lamp 
let's have so I want to try and keep the rust where it is and get the glass green like bottle green Let's see if you can see that under the close up right I'm going to move this off because it has fishes on the floor let's have this a bit so you can see it a bit better can you see that so that all of the fishes are up this end so what I'm doing now is on this glass I'm taking the green in its purest form just dropping it in the center I'm not going up to the edges just the center of that it just gives it the a slight look of glass we don't need to go right to the edges of the metalwork if that makes sense there you go Yeah, it's whenever I have something bright white on the uh, bench, it the camera takes the flare off it and dulls it off. So again, remembering this is only scenery, so taking this much care and detail in it is, I'd say over and above, a quick dry brush of some colours over this to get the colours down is probably all you need but doing the little bits of detail can really make a piece stand out even if it's his scenery and it only gets used once in a blue moon it's not like it's your main figure or anything like that but it is still nice to have bits of glass in the um, Uh, in in the lamps and stuff like that. And thank you very much, Ash. That is much appreciated. So again, I'm just doing rough colouring. Oh, oh, dropping the, uh, uh, drip, uh, all the dropping. Uh, just getting some of the colours, tinting them green as if they've been in the in the water and stuff like that. Doesn't need to be perfect colouring, even if it goes on like a washing. A lot of it's coming off as long as you get the tint that. And that's gone to about the consistency of a glaze now. So if you glaze it all in there. They just look as though they've got um, the green tint to them. And not my hands. Trying to get a bit more green. It, it, I have been doing it so thin, it's very much like a glaze, so some of the colour comes through. the fishes let's have a let's in some black down and the fishes I've just got a wash let's 
Let's do the same with the green. So I've thinned the green right down as well, just to give it a bit of a bit of a glaze. So it looks as though that end of the pea has been where a boat's come in and they've offloaded the fish. And there you go. So I'm quite happy with that. A bit more of that. It works. So I'm going to call that done and I'm going to do the same down the centre of this one just to give it a bit of, uh, it looks like it's used, I try to do this with the uh, the washes last time but it decided to pull all of the uh, paint up instead. It's two done. You can see on that one where I tried to get it to do it, but obviously it, it decided it didn't want to, and it, it pulled the paint up. And the way I've done this, one colour's merged into the next, so I've not really had to um, really change the, clean the brush much at all. So I've done a bit of a, a black wash with, again, it's just the water from the wet palette, um, bit of the green small amount of green but then the black to make the the straps and that stand out and it looked like a like a, a null in wash but with a tint of green to it and again Thank you, Archon. It is much appreciated, Matt. So, again, with the lantern, just the centre bits. If I was feeling, if this was a big display piece, then I would consider airbrushing one of these actually on and lighting up. Um, maybe he's a maybe he's a video at some point on doing light and OSL from a lamp or something or a headlight or something like that um, I have been very busy setting the business up fully uh, it's a lot more work than I thought to be honest It is a big step. Uh, never thought it would be like this. So at the moment we're we're doing stock takes, we're getting stuff set up and new accounts and new banks and 
new credit cards, all the new stuff. So now let's have a bit of. I'm going to lighten the rope a bit. Again, just at the top. Slightly different colour. Let's see for the oars. What I'm going to do with the oars is do them in the slightly colour down most of the shaft, but not all of it. I'm going to hit it with the green as well. Very similar to the, what's on the bottom, but I'll hit it around there. Um, and let's have a whole new version of that brown. For the top edge of... the mod. Again, just to give it a subtle different shade, like the top. the key thing about this it is just scenery so you're probably gonna have a figure jump in and out of that once in a blue moon so painting every floorboard isn't going to be needed what I am going to do is go back to the uh, the green wash with the black in it Do a bit in the centre. perfect doesn't need to be anywhere in particular if you just hit it randomly then <laughs> yep and as the GM I will sink the boat mark right let's have this so I'm gonna call them done because they don't need that much uh, I'm quite happy with them I'll get a sealer down on them after this and I'll be pretty happy I've got all of them bits sorted maybe it's a dry brush on some of those baskets but so let's have some rope colours oh. again I'm just going to do it lightly with a glaze type thing so it will Just so it's slightly different and I'm going to have definitely green uh, with what red more green and white not that much <laughs> this is very much like a reasonably dark verdigris I'm trying to make for the, the netting and as you can see it's very wet where it's gone on it's going to bubble and pop and 
get some like that as well. A bit of the green. Again, it's just it's not far off a of glaze, so by the time it finishes, it should subdue it right back down. We have fissies in the barrel. So like shooting fish in the barrel. black and the green wash again I say a wash it's not heavily it's not full of fluid and stuff like that it's more just very dilute paint that will let the raised edges show through which is cool I need some grey for that that needs the same Green fish, yes. Um, they are going to get a wash out of the top of them of black. Thing is, they've all come out of the horrible green lake. That's yeah. So there you go. You can see it's actually starting to dry up now, and you can just pick bits that you need to touch up. going into the green at the bottom. Back to the flat green uh, for some more glass in the lamp. I would attempt to do all of the uh, glass in the windows, but that is a nightmare by the looks of it. Yeah. If I didn't have the brush in my hand, and was on a bit of a roll with painting, Mr. Stander would be having time out on the naughty step. Okay, so I'm gonna hit some more grey. Uh, just for the metal work bits. I'll take the green off my hand. thing is picking up the metalwork and stuff like that even if you leave some of the brown dry brushing behind it just looks like rust There we go. 
Sweet. If you let some of the colour shine through from like the under the brown and the black and stuff like that, you very rarely need to go back and do any sort of detail and stuff like that on it. Um, So I have two little nails there. And yeah, they do stand out. So every so often there's a couple of grey nails. Just rubbing the brush over them. Doesn't have to be perfect as we've done before. Just pick the nail heads out and the ones are good. There is some that are recessed and I can't get to, and I'm not going to even bother because I'll make a bigger mess of getting it than the effect that it'll give. I like that. There we go. And the final one. It's cool. Um, right, the wash, the black. With a bit of green. Oh, I should have used the green bit. So the black and green. So I'm just filling the bottom of the fish basket and that hides a lot of the brightness of the green. <coughs> there we go. I if I did a bright green wash. Pens. 
again it's just thinning the paint down enough so it just flows in there you can see that hi Kinga welcome home and just splodge the water in or the green water into each one of the this is a bit deeper than the others so Just fill each one of the bits a little bit. It's cool. Um, cheers, Matt. Um, I've just done them. It was literally thin down. So I'm using all of the Chimera colours. So what I've just been doing is making very thin washes just to change colours on the panels. Uh, and I've got green. I'm going to be do I'm not far off what I'm going to do on the, the scale panels here is just the water, the paint's just like dirty water sort of thing. Just run it in and let it pool, very much like a wash. But with it being such a high pigment paint that I'm doing it with, it flows a lot nicer into the thing. And then just a quick rub over the top so the tops don't get um, brown on If the paint pigment's high enough, it'll just fill in and go where you want it to. Let's have a cotton bud. There you go. So you still get the green in the edges. Right in the deep bits of that. But not necessarily in the tips where you want it brown. I think that's the only pain of that. And again, once that dries, you could probably um, give that a little bit of a dry brush in there if you wanted. Right, let's have. So rather than actually use washes to do it, I've just been using thin down paint to do it. It does exactly the same. Yeah, it's just staining the wood. It just looks a different, slightly different colour. It doesn't have to be ooh, too, too different. So you'll see the mess of the wet palette now from what it was earlier as it goes into uh, I'm going to go dull. So for the the washes and stuff like that, I just nick a bit of water from the edge of the palette, create a puddle, and then just a small amount of black into it. As I say, I've never cleaned the brush in any of the bits where I've painted it, and I've just used, so that's a bit of a darker one, that's the green one that I've been using, um, and these were the original colours where I've been pulling the paint from. That was my original green. And as you can see there, that's the colour it goes. Um, 
what's all I've been doing is filling the colours in with um, a glaze stroke wash. So, in fact, um, let's have. Um, I might not do a topic next month because I've got a few bits that I want to do. There you go. Sorry. Yeah, they do. Slightly different. Slightly different. Yeah, there's nothing jumped out at us this month coming up of what looks cool. Um, I was going to do my vampire accounts, but um, someone's doing them for us now. That's the only curtains in the whole building, so yeah. So it has a nice set of the bright as they come, but they're still not. They will wash down quite a. Uh, sorry, they will dull down quite a bit. Well, again, it just changes the colour slightly. Oop, nearly broke the. The fish on the roof. I can't, I've lost the other fish for the roof as well. So the other thing I was doing is on these, as you can see, they've got stained flooring. So that was a very, very thin down black and green wash. Um, and it is just a bit of a scrub. No particular specific places, just just changes the colour of the um, the pathways. Fish found some fish. And the grey, I believe, is still fish worthy. fish on the floor there as well so yeah I don't really want to do too much more on it because they were pretty dirty and smelly and horrible houses they weren't like um, well kept and they were on a lake that it's always going to be damp you, you five foot from the water all the time I saw the fish. Two that escaped. They made it quite far up the dish all the way down there. So. Oh, excuse me. The netting is the right colour, the rope around the netting, I like that. The basket colours, I do like that. There is a little bit of paint there that I can do with filling in. About there. There we go. think I need any more on that I'm quite happy calling that scenery set finished 
Uh, I'll give it a good cut with um, some uh, varnish and put the rest. Uh, I've got to call it done for now. I might pick bits up later and go, oh, I need to do that, I need to do that, I need to do that. So what we have is one in. I might even do something for the, the sign uh, at some point. Let's go to the, the, the full view, sorry. Yeah, I'm even pleased with it myself. Uh, and then some of these little fellas, the crab pots or whatever they are, and the dark fish at the end, the barrels that have got good wash on them now, uh, the boat, and yes, definitely the pre-smog effect. Um, I can do the smog effect um, if I wanted to, just by taking it all out into the garden and setting fire to it. So yeah, quite happy with them. I'm going to count them as done for now. Um, it is... Wow, what doesn't time fly? I just shut the door, mate. There was no way I was painting a toilet from that place. Um, so I'm thinking of doing the Lord of Wind tomorrow, uh, even though Snowy's not with us. <laughs> Uh, but to do Lord of Wind tomorrow, I need to do something tonight to make sure it's dry and ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Let me have a pot holder. Could have a dwarf head coming out of it. Could have. But then how many people would have a go at me for it being factually incorrect? Because they never came out of an outdoor toilet. They came out of an indoor toilet. So I'm just going to get the wash down on the birdie. Um, no, because I can spread it out a lot on these. And I know I'm going to be dry brushing it again, so I don't mind doing a, a good amount of wash on it. But if you keep the wash wet while you're doing it, you get the chance to move it around the model quite a bit and that helps it get into more nooks and crannies than just by splodging it in one place and then splodging it in another. If you're moving it round on the actual miniature you get better um, just a bit better like spread. Spread eagle? Oh, sorry. And yeah, sorry. Oh, that was the other thing is we managed to get the new sprays in this week from uh, Warforge, Colour Forge even. Uh, so we have the white, the grey and the matte varnish. So I'm going to try the matte varnish tomorrow 
Uh, I haven't had a chance to do it, but we're going to try it out and see how it compares. Is this the map varnish that I'm going to be using, or is this going to be another one the same as last time where it was like, eh, it's all right, but it's still not testers. So I'm doing it tip down like that, so the extra does go into the dark areas a bit better, if that makes sense. It's not fiction, it really happened. Pfft. Do you not know history? Um, Jack? Ah, you could, but I believe I'm the only admin there, Paul, unfortunately. So, uh, it is that time, and I forgot to check any of the... Um, Streamlabs system. I know I need a new floorboard under the uh, chair. It, it keeps squeaking. Uh, where's the club? Uh, 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 go ease. So I'm also thinking I need to change the giveaways somehow as well. Shake it up a bit because I'm usually I've got to be sick of the same thing week in week out. And I've got nowhere to put the blooming thing. <laughs> I haven't got all of the best fab cards. I've just got the ones that... <gasps> Jack! Jack! How nice is that? Mr. Beast, how are you doing? So, yeah, um, I made myself a mat. <laughs> yeah, it's Fab's artwork uh, and Legend Story Studios actually give the templates to make them as well. They they want their art using, they want their art spreading, and people are making mats of all sorts. I think I got the first one like that though, and it was like it was like really nice. And it's the uh, Demonastry, which is it's um, was mats cannot be made. We me yeah. Um, uh, twenty pound delivered, Jack. Twenty pound pennies delivered to your door. You do need to do a little bit of artwork, but I think Dead Stee has just been doing one, so it is really easy. <laughs> so, usual thing with the giveaway. I'm going to have to go through this again because we're starting to look at all of that that you've had. Um, custom giveaways. Wednesday night giveaway. Um, edit. So we have um, tier 1, 2 and 3. 5 pulls, 7 pulls and 12 pulls. Followers of the stream get 5 from the box. Subscribers get 7. And if you donated tonight, you get 12 from the box. Um, there are 100 per ticket. Uh, subscribers get an extra ticket. Maximum of 10 per person. And it starts now with a 15 minute giveaway. Um, should we do some stuff on stuff? There you go. It's all up and running. So I'm going to do. Not that one. Chatting. Oh, Chewy broke it. All of they're all going in, so 
<laughs> Bad Wookie. <sighs> anyway, let's have a look at some of this work that people have been doing. Where were we at? Uh, do we really want to look at Paul's stuff again? Um, I think we... I think we saw the chrome. I'll show the chrome off and then... Yeah, you are the... Oh, look at the white spots all over my... I need to buy myself a new t-shirt now. Yeah, same to you, Archon. Cheers for being on board tonight. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Gallery. Gallery. Bye. So this was some of the chrome spray that we're on about. It's the same pen, but he used it through an airbrush as well. So that looks incredibly shiny. Uh, the next one was Paul getting stock of... Um, all the new reinforcements for Warlords. Sexy Nick has done a Gandalf on a horse. That is pretty cool. He's probably there in the background somewhere. Paul doing some air airy planes. I know it's Saruman. Gandalf never had the eye on top of his bloody... I know, but... Ask yourself this. Did I get the perfect reaction that I wanted? Um, I was even going to say that it's uh, Shadow Fax, just a bit mucky. Um, that's Khan doing some of his uh, printing. He's just got the printer set up. Actually looks a bit more like Radagast, to be honest. And paint cue for Paul. Darren doing some moonstone. That is a lot of moonstone, Darren. There's some pretty cool pieces in moonstone. Dex doing his Librarian Dreadnoughts. Look at the Vallejo, Vallejo metal colour in the background. Death Company one as well, with all of the claws. They are cool. It's been ages since I've painted a Dreadnought. So much I want to paint at the moment and just not having much time. Egan, this was absolutely class. An another door in the house. It's for his mouse friends. <laughs> that is cool. Chewie um, doing more Terminators. Oh, that the lab uh, Librarian Terminator? No, not Librarian Terminator, the other one. Oh, my brain is mush tonight. <sighs> yes. That's the one, Chaplin. Wow, Chaplin Terminator. My head is super mush. Uh, Paul and his ongoing fleet of uh, graph spray looks nice. I do need to get on with mine. Bismarck. Um, Mark starting some more troops. Oh, I could take so many minutes now going through going, there's a mold line, there's a gap, there's a mold line, there's a little spot of... But we're going to be good. More Tesseract. Tesseract. 
this is why I'm letting Mark off because he did Tesseract. And he's a madman for doing white. But we already knew that. Hate painting white. Always have, probably always will. I've got some greens to do, uh, some yellow to do soon. And so, at the moment, arching in is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the items. So, Oh dear, I'll have a look. So lots of lots of items. Paul, you've still got I uh, it's either seven or five more of the ready room ones to collect. Um, some more of the aeroplanes. Oh, Stucker bombers. Paul getting some uh, World of Tanks painted. That's cool. I've got a load of Adeptus Titanicus I need to sort out as well so yeah we may have to talk about that one and playing that one at some point um, the buildings or oh, I'm not sure what they are can't If you want cheap wrecked titans, look at Battletech stuff. And then these are Jack's um, Frostgrave Jack. Your Frostgrave army. Or Warband coming together quite nicely. Reminds me, I've got two to finish for mine as well. And that is it. Uh, you've got six minutes left. Oh, are there 10 mil? Wow. So, that yes, I've just realised they're on the wet palette. So that's all Kings of War scale. Yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> I haven't even started my bits that size. Uh, we do have your square bases ready for you, by the way, Jack. Frostgrave or Spacegrave? They're not... They're... They are unreal. Yeah, Stargrave's out soon. I should have. Uh, I should have my book very soon. I think. Um. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I think it is as well. Um. Can have a look when mine's due. Tomorrow. 
this title will be released on the 29th of April 2021. So yeah, um, it will be tomorrow. Oh, guessy. So yeah. Oh, we might have a look through that tomorrow night. What do you reckon? If it appears, if it appears, I'll uh, I'll have a look through that. So we've got four minutes left on the giveaway. If anyone wants, oh, don't even go there, Paul. <laughs> it's asthma dead. I'm just having a quick look through while look. Suddenly it's Stargrave season. That is a good plan, Jack, because I could do that as scenery. Oh, that Kinger probably won't have seen because he was late as usual. So there's my Stargrave scenery, first piece. And. Ooh. You might have it by 17th of October. Um, I don't know, Paul. It's... Yeah, it is well up in the air at the moment when it's going to come. And... <laughs> uh, I'm not sure when it's going to arrive. Um, I've got to the point where I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's just one of those things. I've got to the point now where I go. Psh, when it's here. I get to sell it. And that's about it. I don't really. I don't really get much more of a. a say. I can sit there and scream at them as much as I want. It's not going to change the fact I'm not getting it. Um, let's just click on that. So, one minute fifty seconds. Oh, it's me talking. Um, is everyone good for the end of the giveaway? can't even get the thing to work in the chat right it keeps breaking <laughs> they're not even guidelines who are you kidding asmodee get hit from all over the place it's It's not, I, I'm, yeah, it's not wholly their fault. Um, it, it can, we had this discussion earlier today. I know because of sales drying up in stores, stores haven't been ordering as much X-Wing because obviously people haven't been buying it. So Asmodee has cut back on what they're ordering because the stores aren't ordering it. So it's a knock-on effect that people might be playing it on TTS and not bothering buying it yet because they can't go back and play it. But that knock-on effect basically goes all the way back up the chain and until we start buying all of the X-Wing again, um, Asmodee might not order as much in sort of thing because the they don't want to be sat with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of um pieces in stock uh for the next six months and no one do anything with it it is just the sad state of things at the moment people don't buy it stores don't stock it as my day cut back what they order in as well and it's it's just where we are it's not anyone's fault it is just where we are with the pandemic people not having as much money to spend 
on on and X Wing not being probably the highest priority. Like most people would buy a GW model as opposed to um, an X Wing box at the moment because they can sit and paint the X Wing, uh, sit and paint the uh, model, whereas they can paint the X Wing ship, but most people don't want to. If that makes sense. And that is time up. So, tonight's first winner, and we are getting on with this because. If you haven't noticed, I'm out of my feet at the moment. So I'm starting to yawn and all that sort of stuff. So tonight's first winner. There is 10 of you. So you've got a 30% chance. Yes, 30% chance. I'm good with math. So the first one is... Still not coming up on the screen. No. We have... Yes, smart, but um, uh, we have Craig Heseltine as the first person. Okay, and... So, um, that is seven for Craig. You know what? I've got none of the bags out, none of the stuff to sort it out. Yay. I found some bags and so are we having a guess on how many Idens this evening there we go um, if you guess the correct number of Idens, and I'm only taking one answer from everyone, and it has to be a single number, not zero, two, one, Kinger. Um, I will give you a free pull if you hit it on exactly. A free five card pull if you get the correct number of Idens. And it's the first person to get the number in, so if three people go three, like um, someone else has, um, then it'll be the first person that guesses uh, that guessed three so there we go so Iden time uh, so this is Craig's pulls for a palp number two is a pathfinder number three is you've got all of the uh, legionnaire Craig Number four is Bravo Flight Officer. Number five, uh, there's one. And the last one is, ooh, Stabilized Est Foils. Two, two, four, six. And one more for seven, because Lee can't count today, is the second item. So we'll really pull uh, an Onyx Squadron. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, um, Craig. So at the moment, we're on two items, which is uh, Mr. Stander at the moment. That's saying if we don't get any more items at all. So our next one. is Ulfric. Oh, Ulfric could hit it big here because uh, Ulfric went and donated tonight. So he gets 12. So that's 12 chances to pull an Iden. Number one is Phasma. Number two is HLC. Number three is Afterburners. Number four Patrol. Number five is Nomlom. Number six, Scout Troopers. Number seven is number Iden. <laughs> number three, number so eight, nine, Diamonds. 
10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we do 10 again. Here's the bomb card from. Get yeah, bomb and mine card from K. They're really nice, them. Uh, 11. Here's another Iden. I'll swap you that one for that one because that's foil. And. Veteran Gunner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And last but not least is. Spare parts kind of stuff. <laughs> nice one, Jack. Uh, I do need to do that one. So we're on five now. Is it five, three, and three left over? Yep. So our last winner is Kinga. Oh, how many did Kinga? Uh, Kinga, Kinga, Kinga. Is eight. If I remember rightly, Kinga is only eight for eight, which means. He is a sub, so that's seven. So, number one, Palp. With all of the flair. I keep forgetting the flair. Let's have a brush on it. You know, the easiest way is to turn off the light that's causing the problem. Uh, number two is angled deflector. Number three is. Diamond Boron Missiles. Number four. Uh, Rebel Commandos. Yeah. Five. No files yet. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, the Palpatine's a file. Is that a file? Is it a file? Yeah, Palp's a file. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Six. Oh. Endurance. And last but not least... So where are we at with the Idens? We had five. Who was on five? Let me just have a look. Who's on five? Ooh, so Chewie was on five. <coughs> and from what I can see, Jack was on six. Ooh, so if this is an Iden, Jack has stolen it, stolen it away from Chewie on the very last card of the pulls of all of the boxes tonight. Oof, this is going to be mean and horrible and... Number six. Let's <laughs> have uh, King of King of King of. Uh, what you're getting? Veteran Gurit Gunner Turret. Gurit Turin it? Turin and Gurit it? You're still keeping your eye. I, I, you're still keeping your eye in though, mate. So, Jack. Double Jeopardy Jack, yeah? So th this is only open to Jack. 
Ah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll sort that out later. I've got a couple of spares anyway. Four palps and six items now. Jack, you are getting five cards out of here. Yeah? If you can name how many items you pull, I'll give you seven. Now, th this is just for Jack. There's not much jeopardy involved in it, but it's... No Idens. You are going for no Idens to get the seven. And what part does Paul not understand? This one's for Jack. So, number one. Oh, we're in patrol. Number two. Petraki Ace. Number three. Jendon. Number four, Bactoid Prototype. Number five. Do you want to stick with Zero Jack? It's not Iden. <laughs> Angle deflectors. <laughs> so the next one will be Ooh, IG yeah. And Yeah, it's a Luke Skywalker card, but yep. Yeah, take the money. Uh well done Jack. <laughs> Open the box. Open the box. Oh, we should do something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, ha have a night of uh, that sort of thing. Big giveaways and you could double your things and lose everything. Might have to have a think about that one. No, <laughs> I was gonna say there's there's eighteen viewers at the moment, and I've got no idea how many items are left. There is at least three. Ooh, Boba Fett. Probably start doing palp soon as well, because we're getting a bit thin on the item. Look at this. Oh, two items. Three, four. There's lots in there. Um, we've had a few come out. I can't remember whether they were big cards or small cards, but a few have come out already. Uh, oh, oh. I did it upside down. So you can see the ones I've messed up on now. That's it. As long as they're not items, we're all right. Um, there was a couple of the big ones, like the not big big ones, but they might all be like upgrade cards now. I have an Imperial Fleet, I just haven't played much. Uh, Paul Flaky Pastry Pillars. Um, there is a few. That's why there's not a massive amount in there, Kinger. Because we have to cater for everyone and majority rules and all that. And I should start doing that for 
uh, flesh and blood cards let's, let's see what reactions we get from that so oh I close that one yeah the majority are X-Wing players we have some Legion players but yeah we'll look at some other streams and do some bits and pieces like that game promos I've got boxes of game promos that I could do giveaways with yeah I was the same Jack <laughs> I got my entire fleet and then locked down. So, right. Thank you, everyone, um, for being part of tonight. Uh, thanks for the donations. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for just being here and having a good laugh. Yeah, there is some Star, Wing, Star, uh, Star Trek attack wing stuff on the horizon. Um, so that could be an interesting one to turn up. <laughs> so good night everyone i will be back at seven tomorrow um and in the meantime stay safe catch us all soon